Hello, I'm Lydia Camarillo. The principal at Ironwood Ridge High School says they found the person who could be responsible for drawing a reported racial slur against a teacher. Two weeks ago, PE teacher James Hardy said he found a hangman game and the N-word drawn on the whiteboard outside his office. A student is now under arrest after bringing a gun to Gridley Middle School. Tucson police say he showed up to class with a weapon on Wednesday. No one was hurt. In a statement, Gridley's principal wrote, school safety is a top priority and they're grateful for the quick community response. Ahead of the COVID vaccine approval for those six months to five years old, Tucson pediatrician Dr. Sandra Heron says some parents in her practice are ready to get their children vaccinated, while others say they are still hesitant. Vaccine testing since May has shown it is safe for young kids. A new bill in the Arizona legislature could bring movie making back to the state. State Senator David Gowan of Sierra Vista introduced SB 1708, which would help attract major studios to shoot in Arizona. The bill sets up a tax refund structure and tax breaks on labor costs. SB 1708 still has to go through a committee before it can be considered for a vote. Let's take a look at your forecast. Dry and colder to end the week with morning lows well below freezing for much of southeast Arizona. High pressure will bring a gradual warming trend over the weekend. Breezy Friday, then a passing system will bring more gusty winds and a few degrees of cooling Monday before the warming trend resumes by midweek.